For the past three years, I've been teaching myself French. When people ask me why I'm learning French, I tell them I love the language, how I enjoy, how it sounds, as well as its ability to help me connect with other people all over the world. After saying just this to my friend Zaid, a really good friend from college, he looked at me and said, AK, who's the girl? <laughs> after about a year and a half of intense learning, I knew I'd have some time to travel after grad school. Since immersion is a very critical part of language learning, I started thinking about opportunities to be abroad in France to solidify my learning. Um, I briefly considered doing a paged host program, but when I saw the price tag for these programs, uh, my broke ass decided to look up for other opportunities. Around the time my friend Rhonda uh, recommended a website called Workaway. This website allows people to find hosts in other countries uh, for either cultural and or language immersion experiences. In return, the host time just asks that you help them with some type of task or work. This idea sounded really enticing to me because it would cost me zero dollars. So I created a profile and started searching for families. Since I was not oblivious to the racism in France directed towards African and Arab um, immigrant Muslim families, I was very uh, wary about who I'd message. So I tried finding ways to determine how accepting these families were to other cultures, since there obviously was not a racist filter. Um, therefore, I tried using uh, key words in my search. Uh, my top three included world traveler, open-minded, and chicken tikka masala. <laughs> I figured if they had tried chicken tikka masala and really liked Indian food to mention their profile, there's no way in hell they can be racist, right? <laughs> After sending out a barrage of messages, I either got no response or I got a rejection message. But luckily, um, I eventually received a message from uh, a family that translates to, uh, we saw your profile and think you were really quote unquote interesting. Please let us know if you would like to stay with us. So I was initially very, very stoked because I'm like finally in acceptance, right? Um, uh, so I immediately read their profile and found out that they were a white French family that adopted a Vietnamese daughter. And as I was perusing through their profile, um, I discovered that they lived in the French countryside in this very small town called Echonac with a population size of 300 people. As I read this, various thoughts ran through my mind. My first thought was, what are the odds there's another black person in this town? <laughs> I often have the same thoughts sometimes walking through Lincoln Park, just saying. <laughs> Next, um, my, man, my mind dashed through uh, a series of worst case scenarios. You know, what, what did they think my profile was interesting, right? Um, what if they were serial killers preying on Muslims, right? Or, are they gonna serve me snails and, do snails taste like chicken? That's what I heard, I don't know. My mind goes other places, anyways. <laughs> Um, after carefully considering the pros and cons, I decided to do it. In deciding, I realized it was easy to make assumptions about the French and their racist mentality and group them all in the same category. Or I could see them as individuals and not make assumptions about an entire group because, well, isn't that what we would all want? So after, my, after many weeks of anticipation, I set off in late spring, um, two years ago now, um, for the town of Ishonyak to spend a week, uh, spend a few weeks uh, with my host family, Stefan, Dominique, and their daughter, Eloise. I spent most of the first day um, when I arrived driving around town with Stefan, my host father. He's a tree trimmer by trade, but I would soon find out that he's also a jack of all trades. We spent some time that first afternoon in their equivalent of Home Depot, and I was pleasantly surprised that even in the middle of nowhere France, everyone still listens to Beyonce's All the Single Ladies. <laughs> Later that evening, uh, the rest of the family, including Stefan's wife, Dominique, and their daughter, I met the rest of the family, including Dominique, and uh, my little friend, their daughter, Eloise. So, Eloise is a very fun, sassy, and adventurous little eight-year-old girl who was not afraid to tell me that my French sucked, and then proceeded to correct me. 
And before I strolled into town, she was literally the only person of color in this tiny French town. Um, there were times in which her parents would leave her in my care, so we'd take a stroll around the surrounding areas and explore the rolling hills, the serene meadows, and the rustic empty churches that this town had to offer. Although, I doubt if Eloise was old enough to actually notice any of this, but I find it very amusing when the random uh, f uh, white French people around the time would stare at us and look at us like, uh, I'm not sure if you guys watch uh, Jurassic Park by Little Velociraptors, <laughs> uh, looking at us and staring, wondering how the fuck their town became so diverse all of a sudden. <laughs> Being around Eloise was great, uh, but it reminded me of how annoying little kids can be sometimes. <laughs> Every day, without fail, Eloise would come up to me and say, Karim, Karim, je vais regarder la Reine de Neige, which translates in English, Kareem, Kareem, I want to watch Frozen. <laughs> At some point, I snapped back in English and said, no, can we take a day off and watch Lion King or maybe connect with your roots and watch Mulan or something like that? Take a day off? She didn't really know what that meant because I spoke English, so it was okay. It was okay, I promise you. <laughs> um, since the, fam since the family um, lived in the French countryside, they needed a lot of help with manual labor. Um, everything from digging up weeds to helping build a wall for a house they were building on the other side of the street. Um, and although for them this work was fine, they did it with me, and they were fine at the end of the day, uh, my ass was used to sitting on my ass looking at the computer all day, so it was really hard and very difficult for me. Um, yet it was really, really gratifying to do this work, and although I felt very exhausted at the end of the day, they went to the gym together as a family at the end of the day. I'm like, I don't understand how you do this. Um, most of the nights were spent watching French movies, and, took, and watching French movies together and chatting about the state of the world. Um, some of these discussions were actually quite serious. I clearly remember Dominique asking me if people in Chicago were racist. Which, with my limited French at the time, I tried to explain the subtleties of racism in our day and age, um, and how it manifests in less obvious ways than people may think of. Unfortunately, I realized very early on in this conversation that my French wasn't sophisticated enough to say this and convey it, so I simply said, yes, People are racist and fuck Donald Trump. <laughs> I think I got the point across. <laughs> um, although our other discussions may not have been quite as intense, uh, but they definitely allowed us to learn a lot more about one another. Being the first Muslim and Nigerian American who stayed with them, it was ample opportunity to squash any misconceptions that may have had or reconfirm some of them because I didn't mind them thinking I was a Nigerian prince. I was okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> this was hands down one of the most exciting risks I'd ever taken. It opened my eyes to another world thousands of miles away from home and way out of my comfort zone. In these situations, one often learns a ton about his or herself. And more importantly, you learn a lot more about those unlike you those who you may never meet in your day to day. It's experiences like these that help make the world more of a melting pot. I'm not saying this requires a trip to France or working on a farm, but it may be as easy as just being open to new people and new experiences around you. Thank you guys.